Hello, everyone. Today, I will be reading the story, You Matter. I want you guys to know, all of you who are hearing this video, I want you to know that you matter. Yes, you do. You matter, you are needed, and you are definitely, definitely here for a reason. You matter. Absolutely. And you are certainly cared about. Yes, you are. So this story is written by a wonderful person named Christian Robinson, who we will be meeting later on right here on the video. You will get to see him and listen to him and listen to why he created this story. And guess what? There's a special treat that he will be doing with you at the end of this reading. Welcome to Storytime with Mrs. Fox and Friends. I hope you enjoy it. And as I'm reading this story, I want you to think about the author's point of view. I want you to think about what is the author thinking while they were creating or he was creating this story, you know? I want you to think about the theme. I want you to think, is this a story about acceptance? Is this a story about belonging? Is this a story about including others and also about self-love? You matter. Let's begin. You Matter is written by Christian Robinson. There's his name. And did you notice on the cover of the story, there's a lot of different colors. Yes. And children doing all sorts of different things. They all matter. Yes, they do. Let's begin. I want you to look at the illustrations too, because they tell a lot about the story. Look at the parachute, the parachute of the students you know, playing together. Have you played on a parachute before? Lots of fun, I know. I see the houses, the trucks, the slide. My word, there's lots of things that matter. Like you and me. For anyone, this is written by the author, for anyone who isn't sure if they matter, you do. And I want to remind you of that all the time. You matter. Enjoy. So, you see the little girl looking through the telescope? Yeah. She's looking at things that are really, really small. Then, the small stuff, too small to see. They also matter. Yes. We need all of this small stuff in our world. Those who swim with the tide and those who don't. Do you see this one who's not swimming with everybody else? They also matter. The first to go, look at the pictures. You matter. Look at this, all these interesting illustrations. Talk about it. Yes, if you have any questions, I will have a question pick place for you in room 51. When everyone thinks you're a pest, guys, we know that mosquito, but guess what? The mosquito also matters. When something is just out of reach, like that mosquito is trying to get the dinosaur. And look at the dinosaur. His arms are too small to reach, but guess what? They both matter. When everyone is too busy to help, you matter. I wonder what everybody is doing and where they're going. Well, they also matter. 
Yes, they do, people. You all matter. Look at this. If you fall down, you still matter. If you have to start all over again, you still matter. Yes, you do. Because sometimes, you know, when we have to start all over again, we think, oh, I don't want to do that. That's too much work. But guess what? If you start over again, you might be surprised that you have done a better job. You will do a better job the second or even the third time. Oh, yeah. Definitely so. Definitely, boys and girls. You matter. I hope you're enjoying this. Sometimes home is far away. Look at the astronaut. And she's looking down at Earth. I wonder, what is that that she's holding in her hands? Hmm. Sometimes home is far away, you know, for the astronauts. Outer space. They matter. Sometimes someone you love says goodbye. Now look at the pictures, and that can be hard. The little boy, I wonder who they're talking about. Is it the little boy? Is it the two cats? Is it the little girl with the phone? Well, is it the bird? Whoever it is, or whatever it is, they matter. Look at the busy street. People are going to and from all over the place. Sometimes you feel lost and alone. But guess what? You still matter. Look at this wonderful tree. I happen to love trees. I really do. Because it provides so much for our earth. And so much for us, shade, fruits. I mean, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing to see a tree. And some trees are more than 2,000 years old. They last a long time and they give us a lot. So it also matters. I wonder what the author meant by old and young. Look at the illustration that they also matter. And look at the kids. You matter. The first to go and the last. Yes. The author is showing us quite a bit of examples as to what matters and why we matter. I want you to discuss that in your class with your partners. Discuss what the author has shown us that matters. The small stuff, too small to see. Look at this, those little ants going down in the soil. They also matter. Yes, they do. You matter. You matter. I really enjoy reading this story to you. And I hope that you enjoyed it too. And again, I want you to discuss reasons why you matter. There goes that picture again. The parachute and the students playing around. Now, as promised, you are going to see a story, the author also talking about his story. Okay, enjoy. Here he is. When I sat down to write You Matter, I asked myself a question. What is it that I most wanna to say to readers? The answer was, you matter. I wanted to not only say it, but show it. 
I wanted to make sure that all kinds of kids could see themselves on the page, uh, that they could know that they're, they're valuable, that I see them. Um, I also wanted to show life through different perspectives and experiences, and most importantly, to show that we're all connected in some way. It's important for kids and adults too, to know that they matter. And it's not for the reasons that you might necessarily think. You don't matter just because of how big or important you are, how good your grades are, how many trophies you've won. You matter because you exist. You matter because you're here. It's easy for any of us to forget that, especially when we're so small and the universe is so very big. But I wanted to show that no matter how small you are, no matter how close or far away you are from the people that you care about and love, you matter. It's important for kids to hear that message because kids are the future. And I think if, if we all received that message when we were young and believed it, I think the world would be a different place, a better place. What inspires me to make illustrations and the pictures like the ones we saw in the book is nature and science and history. I am so fascinated by the world that we live in. I find it so inspiring from the teeny tiniest little things that you can only see under a microscope to the great big things like dinosaurs to the mysteries of outer space. Um, most importantly though, I just love to have fun with what I'm creating. Um, if, if you like to draw, maybe you're like me and sometimes you make mistakes. Sometimes you don't always draw everything perfectly. That's okay. I make tons of mistakes, but what helps is practice. I practice all the time and it helps me get better. Speaking of drawing, would you like to draw something together? Yeah? So I'm gonna use this chalkboard right here, but you can use whatever materials you have. If you have paper, crayons, markers. So to draw our, our T-Rex, we're gonna begin with the eyes. So I'm gonna do two little dots for the eyes. Not too bad, right? And then I'm gonna draw a lump and a mouth shape. And then I'm gonna leave space for the teeth. So kind of like a triangle. And then I'm gonna draw a bunch of little sharp teeth, which is pretty much a bunch of triangles. And some on the bottom. And now I'm gonna give my T-Rex a back. And Let's work on those little tiny T-Rex hands. So teeny tiny. And let's give it some big stompy feet. And another foot. And let's finish that tail. And we have a T-Rex. Thank you so much for joining me today on PBS Kids Read Along. Happy readings. Uh, and if you haven't heard it from anyone else today, you matter to me, and in the words of one of my heroes, Mr. Rogers, I like you just the way you are. Thank you. <laughs>